it's with uh, a bit of disappointment or a bit of pill that we uh, appeared to receive the decision just this afternoon, uh, in essence, which was to remove evidence uh, from the defence that uh, would be available to us to put to trial next week. This uh, David's trial is already under uh, national security information orders, which make it a secret trial. Uh, none of you will be allowed to hear what happens next week. But an extra burden today was that the Crown, the, the government, was given authority to bundle up evidence and run out the back door with it. Oh. They've taken it from us. He's no longer able to put it before a jury. That is a fatal blow in conjunction with the decision that was made a few days ago that limits what we can say to the jury on David's behalf in terms of what his duty as an officer was and the oath he took uh, to serve, as we say, the interests of the Australian people. Well, the ruling was he doesn't have a duty to serve the interests of the Australian people. He has a duty to follow orders. Uh, that's very, a very uh, narrow understanding of the law in our view. Uh, that takes us back really pre-World War II, where uh, I think we all know how military law has been judged since then and, and in terms of compliance to follow orders. So facing that reality, what we're limited in what we can put to a jury in terms of David's duty, which he's waited some five years to articulate, uh, together with the removal of evidence, uh, makes it impossible for us realistically to, uh, to, to go to trial and it is a, a, with a sad day and a difficult day for us to advise David on uh, his options this afternoon and uh, he, he embraced them. I've asked uh, David not to uh, talk, perhaps beyond a, a very simple comment, but it's not appropriate. We're approaching sentence now yeah. and uh, he really can't, so I ask you not to press him uh, inappropriately. Thank you. Uh, uh, David's I, wife I will is say here. one thing, and that is I stand tall and I believe I did my duty and um, I don't see it as a defeat, I see it as the beginning of a better Australia and thank you all for thank being here. And on behalf of David, in the absence of David being able to speak, his wife uh, Sarah and the mother of his uh, two children. Um, it's been a very long battle, both financially and emotionally. Uh, our two girls have been through a hell of a lot, more than anyone should be going through. Um, I'm not giving up hope. He's done the right thing. I've said that from the beginning. Truth and justice will prevail. And I'm incredibly proud of him, as are his two girls. Please don't give up on him now. No. We've, we've got we to get through we this will. journey. We'll yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, and, and can I add, just to be precise, we still have an option of an appeal, which we are uh, investigating. Even on a guilty plea, we have, there is an option of an appeal, so we're investigating that. Oh, good. And you too, Jake. Thank you. <laughs> My special counsel. <laughs> a round of applause for David and his legal team. Okay. I'd like to thank my legal team, led by Mark Davis and Stephen Hodges and Emmanuel Kirkusherian. <laughs> and of course Jack and Natalia. Thank you very much.